action camera. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Joan of Angels, your host, your angel. And you are tonight in the sanctuary, the Desert Heart Sanctuary, where I paint divine beings. And you may even notice we're in a different room. And I'm actually trying to get the light straight because I've been hearing lots of reports that for a light artist, the lighting here has not been so good. So, okay, you can't hear me, Belinda? Hmm. Okay, now can you hear me? So let me know. I see you, Belinda. Deborah, oh, good to see you again. And so, Belinda, one of you say you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So if you're not answering, it's worrisome to me. So we're going to hide that and we're going to go right here. Okay, you can hear me. All right, perfect. Thank you. I think it's a matter of can I hear myself? No. So Belinda, Deborah, share it out with your friends and we're just going to chit chat for a couple of minutes till we get a few more viewers that hop on. I'm looking to see who else I recognize. Welcome. So guys, you are tonight, we're going to we're going to have a different for, forum. Hi, Joyce. Welcome, Michelle. So, see, it's always great to see friends in this one and, and kind of interact with you. Otherwise, I just would be giving a lecture. And although I'm very good at lecturing, trust me, I want to have a little bit of fun also. So, I've brought you here into my sanctuary with an ulterior motive. Ha! Huh. What is that ulterior motive? Well, I had a friend here a few hours ago, and I thought we were going to do the show together. We're not. It was uh, Neil Gar from Portal to Ascension. Let me know if you found me that way. <clears throat> but he and I were talking about teaching and taking people through the art and through the portals. So now, no, you have no sound. So... Can someone else comment, Joyce? Are you hearing me? Because, hello, Robin. Are you hearing me? Oh, I can't hear myself unless I go online and then I get an echo. So let me know, Robin, or um, not you, Belinda, because I see you're having problems. But Joyce, can you hear me? So just the next comments, make that before we even get into tonight's teachings. All right, Michelle hears you, and you are fine. All right, good. Well, that's okay. We're just getting warmed up in about 60 seconds, because it's only three minutes we've been on. In about 60 seconds, I'm going to start all over here. Callie! Mwah, 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 mwah. Hi, Callie. Shakti Fest was wonderful. I always think of you. Robin, I'm going to answer that. How do I stay so young? <clears throat> Some, that's such a great question. And I am going to share it because you're here in my sanctuary. And my guides told me that an intimate evening would be fine and letting you understand really how this all works. I'm going to try to sh shout a little bit so you can hear me. So what was that question I loved? Wait, wait, how do I stay so young? So when I moved to Northern California years ago, I had just gotten my chiropractic license. And my girlfriend said, you have to come in here. This woman, Lisa DeLongchamps, she talks about, um, does it make your heart sing? And also, it was about let your wings fly. And so I started to go to her workshops. And she had two very powerful workshops. And by the way, I've been she left me all rights to her work and to teaching it, and I incorporate it in my work. So when I'm telling you and saying, does it make your heart sing, I learned that direct from Lisa, who has now passed and on the other side. But anyway, to answer your question, she had two fabulous workshops, Visioning and Youngering. And the Youngering was all about how when you turn your power on and you are aligned properly, everything I've been talking about recently, then you send healing energy, innate sources to all parts of your body, literally waking it up, waking up parts of your cells, 
that have not been used for a lifetime. Hello, Telly. Now, why does that matter? And Naomi, hi, how sweet. So yes, so you wake up these cells. That's why I've been sharing all of this information about power on. Because when we turn this power on, now I learned this, by the way, okay, 19, I'll date myself, but that's okay. No one else has been dating me. <laughs> that's okay, putting out a call for my soulmate. I have to really laugh at myself. Okay, so we did the, and we did youngering. Okay, so I did visioning and youngering, and in youngering, we really did learn how to see ourselves younger, how to run our energy younger, and I can tell you that when you're on purpose, all right, when your body, mind, and spirit really do feel aligned, then you will younger, just like me, because you will wake up out of bed, ready to leap over tall buildings in a single bound. So I hope that makes sense to you guys that, and perhaps let me know if you're interested, maybe I will do a workshop just on youngering. So youngering is how we can rejuvenate ourselves, cells, and we do it spiritually. We do it by aligning, we do it nutritionally, and we do it in all ways. And Belinda, I love you too, sweetie. We share special bonds. And by the way, I have many bonds with many of you. And if you don't have a bond with me now, I'm Joan of Angels. I am an angel artist. I am a paintbrush for divine beings who come through me. I'm also a chiropractor, and I'm a master oracle, ascension trainer, and healer. Hi, Gloria. And so my job, kind of, you see me in that position right there. My job tonight, they explained to me, was that I'm going to explain to you a little bit about what all that means. What does it mean? Thank you for the feedback, Joyce, and share me with your friends. By the way, like my Joan of Angels page, please, because I want to get to a thousand likes and then a million likes, but we start with one person at a time. Anyway, so as a paintbrush for the divine, I listen to the call of spirit and they explain to me what they want from me and why I do this work. And one of my gifts is that because of my my ability as a chiropractor, as a healer, I turn people's power on. Now, I have been turning people's power on for almost 40 years, okay? 2020 will be 40 years ago that I started and embarked on chiropractic. And what I discovered in my visioning work, so I told you there were two trainings she did. One was visioning. What was visioning? Visioning was we went into guided meditation talked to our guides and angels and said, hello, uh, could you please tell us what we're here to do, okay? Now, I don't know about you guys, but finding out from spirit what I was here to do has sometimes always been on the foremost of my mind, okay? <clears throat> and, you know, if I could sit here with my angels and your angels and have a heart-to-heart, -heart, I would. So what's happened is I've devised ways to have heart-to-heart with your guides and my guides. Anyway, that's why I paint them because when I said I will do what it takes to serve and to, to live my purpose this lifetime, because I have been off purpose, Callie. I don't know about you, but I have lived off purpose and it's mortifying to remember. And the, the pain of that, the pain of not seeing how powerful I could be the pain that, like, here I am teaching you how to turn your power on, but I could share with you that there was a time where I was powerless, where I had given my power away that I didn't know. And I was already a doctor when I did that, and I allowed some man from the outside world come and push me and literally take over my life. And I yes, I guess I said yes to it, to learn those lessons. And the lessons I learned, hi, Lisa, love, and I love you so much, honey. The lessons I learned were that I was ashamed of who I was, okay? Now, I don't know if any of you have ever felt that way, but I was literally ashamed at how powerful I was. Now, look at the, the poster here on the right, and I'm telling you that I was ashamed to be that powerful. And so what did I do? I ended up losing everything gave it all away. Um, I gave this man almost a half a million dollars because he took it from me, literally. 
um, abused me and my children. And I'm here to tell you that at some point I did wake up. But I woke up 17 years ago, and it's taken me 17 years from 2000 and I guess it's been from like 1998 to 2018, okay? So if I'm sharing this story and you need to hear it, guys, it is true. All of us teach what we needed to learn or what we have learned through trial. When we come out and we work on higher dimensional frequencies, we become way showers for the others. But, you know, <clears throat> I'll explain it to you this way. Um, well, maybe I can't. There was a book many years ago about nice girls always dating the, the worst men. And in almost invariably with every client I have had over the last 20 years, or even before, even as a chiropractor, usually the most powerful women have had to deal with at one point giving their power away. Or the most angelic women or men, kind, loving people who have had to learn the hard way to say no and stand up for their truth. So you might be one of those. I was one of those that I had to learn the hard way. Don't know why I'm sharing this with you, but I know spirit is sharing this with you. So 20 years later, I'm sitting here teaching you once again, Dr. Joan has been reborn. Dr. Joan suddenly, for the first time in 20 years, remembers who she is with pride. It takes that long sometimes to heal and clear and shift away all that stands in the way. So the first thing we're going to do tonight before I even take you on a journey with me is we are going to collectively, Mother, Father, God, hi, Tina Marie, Sweet Pea. Hello, hello, hello. So let's do it collectively because I have found that when we do it collectively, hello, Rosa, you have come just in time. Share this with your friends. You have come just in time for us to let go of what no longer serves so we can literally clear our frequency, clear the frequency around you. That means your home, your street, your everything. Okay, I think I even they're telling me I have to stand up for this can't sit down, have to be fully energized so I can kind of have to get me in the camera, wait. There. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, Robert, to let go of anything that no longer serves? Are you ready, Rose? Are you ready, Tina Marie, Belinda, Joyce, Gloria, Naomi, Lisa, Kali, Gloria, Belinda again, Robin, Telly, Naomi, all of you out there who have joined this, Michelle, Deborah, being called from the angelic realms to now let go of all that no longer serves, all that is keeping you entrapped, entrined, entied encircled by dark energies, repetitive thoughts, fears, anxiety, stories. You are telling yourself other people's stories, other people's opinions, your opinion about other people's opinions, your fear, your fear to be the powerful one that you are. Are you ready to let go of what no longer serves you? Mother, Father, God, right now, we ask for your presence in our lives to help to hold, to uplift, to raise our frequencies, to help clear this life, past life, future lives, this dimension, all dimensions, this home, your home, your street, your community, your town, your body, your soul, your closet, your work, anything that no longer serves, we humbly ask to cut through using the power, the archangels, power, the energy that comes direct from the divine. Mother, Father, God, we now in humbleness ask that we be freed, ask to clear our forces, ask to no longer live in that three-dimensional bound world that enties us. And we ask knowing that we will step up 
knowing that we are asking to share our highest gifts, knowing that we will replace fear with love, anxiety with love, disharmony with balance, anger with kindness and compassion and understanding. For we have been given special gifts, and we ask right now to clear anything away that keeps you from sharing, from mastering, and from using those special gifts and talents. Because those talents are here for the upliftment and the betterment of me and you and every single person on this program and every person around us. So we ask to free you and let it be so. Hallelujah. And let it be. So the first step in raising our energy, you know, you just can't have coffee And every day and expect it to organically give you a healthy, energized body because it's a jolt of lightning. Okay. And so it is, guys. Yes. And so it is. Okay. Yes. So what we are doing tonight is we are clearing your energetic field so you can even hear me. So you could say, yes, I want more. Yes, I want to turn my power on. Yes, I want to be of service. Yes, I want to share my gift. Isn't saying yes so much better than saying no? So tonight we start with yes. And hi, Marla. I love, oh God, everyone I love is on the air tonight. Hi, Marla, Marla. Okay, and Robert, yes. Okay, so if you love me, share me with your friends. Like my page, like my YouTube. This is going to go on YouTube, assuming it's a good job. All right. So we are, before I move forward, going to um, make sure we're all clear on this part. And then I'm going to pull a card from the Masters of Miracles themselves, the beings that I paint, the angel beings that have now told me that my job is twofold. My job is, yes, to continue with the oracle art and to lift frequencies and to My job is to train you guys. So now, with power on, I'm taking people through vibratory shifts to train you on how to fluff your own wings, how to be the master that you are. Hello, Gina. I'm new, too. You may think I'm not. Well, actually, I'm a 33, and I'm an old soul, so I've been here millions of years on this planet. Now, Gina, you may be new right now, but I could tell you probably got to be an old soul or you wouldn't have found your way to me. So welcome. My name is Joan of Angels. And as everyone here will tell you, okay, I will teach you how to fluff your wings. I will teach you how to step into your power. And I commit to you that I will help you reach those ascended levels because that's what I'm here to do. So how do I know that? Because I have been told that by my guides. I have seen it, and it resonates. And it resonates with all of you, or you would skip on to the next one, okay? Because we know authenticity. So what do the Masters of Miracles have to say? Okay, we're going to see. Okay, I feel like dancing tonight. One night out, I won't dance in public, but (laughs) I'll save you that. Okay, oh, my God. Okay, so... The reason this is cool is that I told you that tonight, hi, Lisa, tonight I was going to show you guys some of the art, the ascension art. And, but first I had to, we had to let go of all fears and lower frequencies before I would even show it to you. All right. So because I want you to see it with the, the eyes of having your frequency already turned on. So then you can resonate with it and we'll all resonate with it. Okay. And I love that we are, are seeing our past lives. Hello, Ernest. So, so I assembled here a collection of Ascension paintings all in their own way. And I'm going to tell you about them. But the card that I pulled is victory, okay? So before we even get too much further, if you are listening to me tonight, and I'm so grateful you are, then know that we are on the path of victory. Success is assured. Each step takes us closer to the miracle. So you can't 
excuse me, you cannot get on these pathways with a lot of luggage. And what do I mean by luggage? You can't get on the pathway with a lot of fear, with a lot of um, anger. I think that painting is right up here. That's why I'm, yes, it is. So I'm going to take you up to the painting. But in order to start to turn our power on, we have to let go of everything. And that's what that, that poster I had, that I'll put it up later, was that... I really need to be up there, don't I? Uh, let's see. Well, I think you could see it better from where we were. And maybe you won't get to see it this way. It seems so easy. Okay, you can see it, but the light isn't great. But you see a woman with a kind of wand, and it looks like this, okay? It's easier to show you this. Okay, so as you see, there's an angel or a goddess there with the, with the wand or the sword, however you want to see it. At the very top here is like the is the light. And so there is definitely an ascension process going up here. What does ascension mean? To raise up, to strengthen. So yes, so but it, is it an easy pathway? No. Thank you, Sherry, honey. I accept compliments. Is it an easy pathway? No. No, I'm sorry, it really isn't. I would lie to you if I said it's it's easy. It's not easy because the tests, you get many tests, guys. You might, you get tests because, because you're being shown, how do I, well, I'll show you. You know, when you start at the bottom, there's many choices. But as you go up and you're more refined, then there's less choices. And then it's narrower. There, there's more, less, less choices. And so hopefully your guides give you enough feedback, you know, like, whew, so that you understand the vibrational frequency of what's going to take you closer to what you want to. And of course, you know, we get to come over and over and over again if we want. So victory is about, yes, and he made a rhyme. I, I love, I love this. Okay. So this is the process then of clearing away at every level but then of reaffirming who we are and what we're here to do and what our gifts are. And some of you don't know your gifts, and I understand that because it's hard to know them. And some of you are very involved in your life of maybe struggle or a relationship that doesn't support you or, or financial troubles or a job that, that's just you hate. So, so the three-dimensional the three dimensionality of that keeps you focused way over here. Okay. You're not at all even near the gate. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So I'm also trying to tell you that if you're on my programs and if you're working with me, it's really because you are being called to learn about how to fluff your wings, how to step into the fifth dimension and beyond how to master your gifts and share them with the planet and and i guarantee that or you you would have just moved on that's just the way it is we resonate with the frequency of what we want so i'm really appreciative because i feel like okay you guys want to hear it and i'm hearing some of it to share it with you all right just gonna have a sip of this it's one of my superfood drinks with cacao and maca. Why? Because um, because I'm taking foods now that are raising my vibratory frequency and my health. So one of the other answers to youngering, by the way, is the foods that we eat. And I'm saying that because I never, you know, I told you I'm a chiropractor. I've worked with people for almost 40 years on your health and wellness. And I can now officially tell you that half the diagnosis is out there could be cured with organic food, vegetables, fruit, and a real clean diet. So not that y'all have to go vegan or vegetarian, but if you change your diet in those ways, your arthritic pain would go away, your stomach pain would go away, your immune system would perk up, and you'd feel better. 
All right, but if that interests you, you can message me for that. But you see, we all, there's a process, all right? So for instance, I personally know people who could be very enlightened and involved, but then I watch them have their hot fudge Sunday and their personality changes, all right? To me, that's criminal because your personality changes and you become angry. So where's all that love and light? All right, now, all right. What else am I going to cover with all of you tonight now that I have your attention and we are about to take flight? It is true. And so, Lisa, the program that I'm doing, so I started off by telling you that for 20 years I was afraid to be Dr. Joan again. I was afraid to be powerful I was because I had lost it and because I had literally run away and someone had told me I wasn't worthy and it took 20 years to literally build my my strength out so that I could teach the work I'm here to teach and remind you all of the work that you're to do. It's not about the work I'm to do, it's about how do we clear everything away so you can literally be you, right? Okay, so you're on cloud nine. I'm very happy about being on cloud nine. I. I have learned, though, that we do live on a 3D world, and so when I drive my car, I may have my angels and guides, but it's definitely, definitely, definitely a very good idea that I put my glasses on, even though I don't think they work. Okay, so, all right. Now, when we work on this ascension pathway, I, I found out recently and this was also, so I told you I've been developing this program called Power On, How to Turn Your Power On. And then we got to the next level. And it was Vitality 360. And now you won't believe it, we're at activation level two. And my guides told me that, okay, my guides told me that there's seven levels to initiation that I'm to teach. Now, that means I don't know what anyone else is teaching. I only teach what my guides tell me to teach. And so now we're up to people working with me on level two of level two initiation. So what the heck is that? So number one, what did I say? You have to let go of all of your lower frequency stuff, right? All right. So that that's good because once you let go, what did I say? You can't take luggage with you to heaven. You know, you just cannot take it to the heavenly realms. It doesn't work that way. So here we go. Um, I'll give you some advice in a little bit on spiritual cleansing, Ernest. I have two techniques for it, um, and they'll be relevant in a minute. So we'll get back to it. Spiritual cleansing. Yes. So in order to, to get to here... We have to do spiritual cleansing, all right? We have to do tools and techniques about letting go. Different shamanic um, teachers or healers do it their way. One of the ways I do it besides saging my people or having you sage is also putting you through a the, the shower an energetic shower is another tool that I like to use. And then grounding and certain, if you go back and listen to some of my other videos, you'll, you'll hear some of those cleansing tools. But a very good one is to start to say, okay, we'll all do this as a group, okay? So I've been teaching this a lot recently. And if you've been working with me, you know about the horizontal line. And on a scale, of zero is on the left. 10 is on the right, and it's like a clock hand. And oops, my pendulum went flying. So it's like this, right? Now, if it's at zero, it's kind of low, weak, and, you know, you're ready to die. And if it's at the 10, you're right on fire. You're, you're going to ascend pretty fast, okay? Now, we can use this scale for almost anything, but we can actually look at it and say, okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, what is my personal energetic frequency right now? So all of you out there, ask yourself, at what level is my energetic frequency right now? Okay. And it could be anywhere from zero to 10. I, I think at least 
got to be a two, three for most of you, probably much higher because I know a lot of you. Thank you, J uh, Jamie. Love your feeling. Love your feedback, guys. All right. Let's see. Got it. I can't um, read all the comments. So, all right. Until later. But I love them all, and I go back and I read everything. Okay, so now, know where you are. So I see, Marla, you're at 8, 9. Yeah, I want you to keep working with it. Um, anyone else want to keep the feedback with it? So now, so that was where, where are you energetically. But now, on a scale of 1 to 10, that's a hard one. I have to find a way to do it. But we want to know, on a scale of 1 to 10, what is... How positive, how positive am I? I know that's backwards. I just came up with it. How positive am I? All right. In other words, we don't wear the, no, care where that negativity thing is, but we want to know where that positivity is. Okay. In other words, how joyful am I? How positive I am? How much positive energy am I emitting? Those are different questions. Ask yourself, okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, what is the positive energy that I'm emitting? So what are people feeling from me? All right. Well, Tina Marie, you've got a lot of positive things around you. Got to say, some of you people are working these tools, <laughs> and I love it. Hi, Michelle. Yes. Okay. Let's see. What does that mean, 8675309? All right, seven, five, four, three. Are you going through different energy fields? Okay, um, and that could be true. Five, five, six, yes. Okay, so now that's a different question. So if your positive frequency is a five on a scale of one to 10, then the question always gets to, well, what do I have to let go of? And how do I cleanse to let go so I can move this meter up to a 10, right? So that is what we are doing. And I thought it said it's a gong. I see it's a song. But in this moment, it will be a gong. Okay. So see, Belinda, five to seven, Sherry, nine. So we, there's a difference here. How do we move our energy up from a five to a ten? Well, that's part of the process that we do when we do this power on. We literally turn that on. And then I teach you how to keep that on. And then, as I said, we go to activation level two, which is initiation level two. By the time you get up to initiation level two or three, I'm not exactly sure yet because I don't have anyone up there yet. But then we'll find ourselves right here. All right. Right in that painting, literally at the base of one of the heavenly temples. And then that's where the discernment comes in. And that's where probably more when we get up to initiation level three, four. But that's where discernment comes in. And that's where you go, okay, on a scale of one to 10, what's the level at my work? What's the level when I'm in my car? What's the level when I'm on the program with Joan? What the heck is my level? All right. I don't know that song, Jenny, Don't Lose My Number. You'll have to send me a link to it, honey. Okay. All right. So I can laugh about it. Someone's been sending me a lot of songs about Joan. All I knew was I married Joan, but now I have a list of about five or seven songs about Joan. And I just think you can all write songs about Joan. <laughs> it's a good name. Joan's, you know, Joan means gift of God. God was gracious. And in truth, that's what I've been told that my job, this life is to share my gifts. And my gifts, they come direct from that, from source. They're not my gifts. They're the ones, the way, the reason I look good or look this way or I can do this is that that, this is what I, I chose to do. I was assigned these tools and I have spent the last period of my life learning how to refine them. So what happens? So we, we clear away all, we go through spiritual cleanse. We go through, now we are, not really designed to be perfect. I'm going to break it to you gently. Humans are not perfect, okay? Lisa, we need to clear off more energy, honey, okay? 
And, and all of us, when we get that lowered frequency, we have to really go through a cleanse, a shift, remove it, and then do some tools that really start to align us and move that meter back to the 10. Yes. So going back to this, okay, because why do we want to, why do we want to work so hard and, and get ourselves out of the bar, say, and get our, you know, get ourselves out of the lower levels is because if you're, if you're listening to this, you do have a mission and you do have a purpose and you do have a plan and maybe it'll take you this lifetime. Maybe it'll take you a few more, but you are on this track. And so what do I tell people? Oh, yeah, work with me, baby. We'll take you on the fast track. That's going to be funny. In a way, it's true. In a way, it is true. Okay, so now I'm laughing at myself today because I found another. I said I'm going to show them some of this work. So here's a, uh, it's a it's card, and but the card is of a painting that I did. And what do you see? You see stairways again, stairways of ascension. So it's totally, totally um, in alignment. So when we need to align properly, okay, Lisa and Vanessa and all of you who are working with this, so we go, okay, on a scale of one to 10, how aligned is my body? Okay. On a scale of one to 10, how aligned is my mind? How aligned is my soul and spirit? How aligned am I with my soul purpose? And if it is anything below, if it is anything below, you know, a seven, eight, you are not living your purpose. You're in survival and struggle. Or maybe five, six, you know, it depends on your acceptance level. Take a note. This is the power on program. Okay. That's step one. I vouch for it. In fact, you get your money back if you don't like it. Okay. <clears throat> but I will warn you, it's a prelude. Because it's the beginning of clearing your energy. It doesn't happen overnight. What did I tell you? It took me 20 years to heal from, you know, my abusive relationship that left me with no self-esteem. Now, thank God, ascension can happen fast. Just so you know, whatever it took to get you to tonight, guys, hallelujah, we'll bless it. And But the path of ascension is faster. As long as you say yes and you do the kind of work. Okay, so yes, let's hit the fast track. Let's let's move forward. And when our friends move forward, it's really easier. So I went to my website a couple of weeks ago when I started doing this power on and I started reading what I've written on my website and my old websites. And every single website says, turn on your vibration, raise your energy, raise your vibrational frequency. And I thought, oh, well, isn't that interesting? I've actually been talking about this for years. Now I'm going to teach people and myself how to do it. Now, look at this painting, okay? Also, I will say this. All of the art is for sale, originals or prints. And if it interests you, just reach out to me. It's an original. And do you understand? Of course, you can see what I'm talking about, right? So this one maybe doesn't have actual stairs here. It does once you get to the tunnel. So over here, we're showing what is it going to take as we actually even get to where, well, I don't know if I'm in the way, but let's see. What's it going to take to not to get up here? or to get in here where we want to go. Why do we want to go there? Well, you may not want to go there, but I can say that if you feel the call to have a life that you feel aligned and you're living on full purpose, why not spread your wings and come out from hiding and be the who you are and spread those wings and share your vibrations. And yes, Michelle, that's a very good way to shift vibrations, especially in the room and everything, to laugh at ourselves, to laugh at the situations. Some of the things I'm finding require even more. So exercise, jogging, dancing in place, um, meditating, changing my energy, sometimes going out. Okay, so the tunnel and the painting above it as well. 
let's see are you talking about this one let's see hello from tucson hello hello are we talking about this tunnel over here so we have in this we have two different levels of ascension going on but i'm going to show you some more even though i'm not that good at this because i actually some of you are loving my art and i'd like to, we have to show you this one almost dark but maybe if i open the garage we can get more light yes okay there's a reason i'm showing you this so do you see again the stairway and the doorway when i painted this i was thinking well how so you know right how does one really get to heaven okay a little sarcastic it was like okay how does one really get to heaven and before you know it someone grabbed my paintbrush and they painted this and they said this is the key and then they said and this is the master who is going to take you through so this one came through and you might even see that there's literally a woman standing in front of him which people pointed out to me after the brown here which I think of as his mustache and beard is actually the back of the head of this woman who's got these gorgeous shoulders here and this beautiful gown. Can you see her? So I was shown that after the fact. Well, what does this symbolize? It symbolizes that as we let go of what doesn't serve, as we raise our own frequency, as we master our gifts, why? Not for your ego. You master them so you can turn around and share them with everyone else who, who you've committed and you have contracts on. You have agreed. There are many people that have been waiting for me to talk to them, to wake up, to activate. And you know why? So that once you are activated, guys, you will become the activator for those waiting to activate. One person can't do it here, but you know what? If, if, if as a result of tonight, you actually have that 10 frequency you awaken and you turn around and you start to share your gifts and accelerate and people start going, oh my God, Belinda, look at you. I can't believe how your energy is shifting and Gloria, you're, I want to work with you and you're changing my life. Okay. Then guess what? My work reached you. Your week, work reaches them. And that work which we are talking about, which is global, global transformation and healing. Do you see these angels that are protecting the planet right there? They want human angels too. They say we can't do it alone. We, we need you to raise the frequency, Joan. We need your, your people to raise their frequency so we can shift the planet together. If you think... Peace and harmony is going to come through politics. You're, you know, we can we can pray forever. It's only going to come from the hidden inner realms where we as a people raise our light and then they don't know what hit it because it's so light that peace and harmony does start to do what is meant to. Yes, there are tunnels in that. Oh, my God, yes. Okay, I just glanced over, so I will show it so you could see it too. Let's see. Oh, gosh. One day, guys, I'm going to have a filmmaker following me around, and then you won't be subject to this. Okay. But, yes, she's right. There is a tunnel in that, in a very deep, 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 deep tunnel. So if any of these paintings resonate with you, then you're going to have them. And, they're, you know, once you have a painting – the painting starts to give you information and raise the frequency in your home. So now, if you have a painting in your home, then you need to sit with that painting and ask for healing. Light a candle and ask for healing because that is what the painting is there for. So that is a message. Yes, we all help each other. So um, I'm just going to see if there's any messages for me over here. Oh, let's have, okay, good. So 
going to take a deep breath for a few more minutes. And it's time they tell me for another card. And you can get the cards on my website as well. And the reason I tell you that is actually there's only five more decks left. I'm not trying to make you run out and get them. But if you've been waiting for it, don't wait too long. Because um, just because I'm not sure if I'm gonna, when I reprint them. Okay. So we do have five decks left. All right. These are the miracle messages. They were just released in January, February. Actually, officially released in February. Okay. Here we go. Oh, see, surrounded by those portals. Look at that. You don't need to see me. You need to see more of the portals. So do you like seeing the energy? You volunteer to film, Belinda. Just get your little butt here. Okay, your angel booty. Um, oh, and speaking of where I'm going to be, thank you for reminding me. If any of you from this, the Arizona area, next weekend, the 22nd on the solstice, I'm doing an event in Sedona called Power On. So if you're anywhere near Sedona, please come. Hello, Carmen. Nice to see you. Also, I am going to be up in Santa Cruz. You see Santa Cruz at the Dowsers Conference the weekend before July 4th. I'm speaking on Sunday on how to raise your frequency to connect with you guides and angels. I think it's Sunday or Saturday. The Dowsers Conference, which is very interesting. And this, I am a dowser. I'm a professional dowser. And this is a dowsing tool. And what is dowsing? It's another way of connecting with your intuition. Dowsing is another way of clearing negative energies and frequency. So it has a lot of ways to, to work. Sherry, are you from Sedona? That would be great. <laughs> it's always fun when I meet people that I see online, you know. Okay, so now let's think of... So the first card we pulled was victory. And I said that's a personal card, all right? So now we're going to do a card for everyone in this group. And how could that be? Well, we all have some lessons to learn. Oh, I think I didn't talk about that other painting that's actually in front of the, the TV screen on the piano, but you notice that is another portal, just in case you didn't notice. Okay, we are now asking spirit, what do you need to reach the, these realms? In case you don't know. And what do they say? Freedom. Now, how did we start tonight's, uh, you know, program with the need for freedom, freedom to let go of everything that doesn't serve you? Um, I know you want to go to Sedona, right? So it's the freedom to let go of everything that doesn't serve you. So the, our guides right now are holding this energy of freedom, freedom to let go of that inner voice, the critic, freedom to let go of fear, freedom to let go of financial worry. Why? Because if we can let go, then we are in the flow and we can spread our wings and we can start to move forward. When we are stuck, stuck is stuck. It just means we can't move. We can't do this. We can't do that. So freedom means releasing all judgment. Okay. Freedom, all chains that bind us. Freedom all the things we do that make us feel worse and not better. And so even making, you know, someone said, how do I do this? Well, make a list of all the things you do that actually make you feel terrible. Okay. I mean, honestly, um, it, that's a shocking list. Okay. So when I taught, and then you put this, when I, when I eat that hot fudge Sunday, yeah, I really did feel terrible. I don't want to admit it, but I did. I don't eat them anymore, but I do. When I'm with, say, on the, when, I'm, when I go out with the, my friend Stephanie, I come home feeling terrible, okay? You'd write that on your list. Um, when I go out with my boyfriend, I feel fabulous. Or when I go out with my boyfriend, I feel, I come home feeling awful. Start to write down how you're really feeling and pay attention. Now, what's the final card? So freedom is a personal freedom for us, freedom so we could do our work, freedom so we could hear our, the voice, freedom to feel our guides, freedom to live our destiny, 
And the outcome card is this beautiful painting I have in the other room, Adana. She is a star being from the Dagonis tribe. She tells us we radiate beauty from the inside out. I radiate beauty from the inside out. You radiate beauty from the inside out, from the inside out, from the inside out. So I will tell you this, all right? I learned to sing my affirmations. Now, do I usually sing them in public? No. All right. But what I do it sometimes here for you guys, sometimes, because sometimes I just naturally do my little raps, but sing your affirmation. And so an affirmation for all of us tonight on the same wavelength, I radiate my truth. I know who I am. Miracles manifest wherever I set my intention. I am in the flow. Any of these might resonate for you. I am in the flow. Every step takes me closer to my miracle. I am healthy, wealthy, and happy. So when I was younger, the first two affirmations I learned when I graduated school, I worked with a teacher named Foster Hibbard, who, who was a graduate of Napoleon Hill's programs, and he was all about enthusiasm, and he taught me two affirmations. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better, and I'm healthy, wealthy, and happy. Why am I teaching you that? You can sing any of these. I, I personally don't care which one you use, because I'm not attached to that. What I would love to see is that you take from this program what raises your vibration and use it and change it for you. That's why I would have people sing in my workshops and sing their affirmations because when you sing it, you claim it. So claim who you are tonight. Claim your ability to, to reach higher levels. I, the I am the I am presence. So this is power on. Um, take notes. This is the Portal to Ascension conference. I'm going to be on the Ascension Portal platform panel. Isn't that cute? Portal to Ascension platform panel to Ascension. Okay. It is in Irvine, but it will be live streamed. Some of the top speakers in the world, and I'm on that platform too. So it is a go to thing or a, a live stream thing. Why? Because it will be very good. And I think somewhere I have the Sedona thing. God, you can see that I can't read without my glasses on or with them on. Does it say Sedona? No. So it doesn't. We're going to take that away. We're going to try this one. Does that say Sedona? No. No, Sedona. Huh. This says Sedona. Okay, there it is. So you have that. And the Power On is the online program. It's now two sessions. And then afterwards, we work on, on awakening and aligning. It's called Vitality. And then you get to level two. And then we clear everything in the way. And no, these are not having to do with your chakras. These have to do with your energetic levels of mastery of these higher realms so that you can start to attract more of what you do want. All right. Any quick questions? I'll take a question. Not a personal reading so much because, guys, we are in this together. Um, we are in a way that the way that our vibration is working, we are spreading it. We are sharing it. That's why I, I do some of this energy work to start to raise our frequency. Let's get rid of this. How do I get rid of this? Huh. There it is. Hide that. Okay, good. Isn't that a great photo? That was me um, at my red carpet event, and I'm very proud of that. Shy girl, always afraid of my shadow, and here I am, an actress. Okay, isn't that cool? There. So you can live your dreams. You just have to give yourself permission. PTA. Isn't that great? I love that. PTA. Very clever. All right. So let's radiate love, guys. 
from the inside out. Let's resonate healing for the planet and for ourselves from the inside out. So with me now, uh, do you like this? All right. Feel the tingling in your hands. Ooh, uh, feel that energy. Feel that energy. Um, good. And what else am I going to tell you? Yes, if you love the art, let me know. If you love me, let me know. If you want to learn how to do your power on, let me know. If you have a question, let me know. Hmm, now breathe in, guys. And breathe out. And breathing in again. And breathing out. Rubbing your hands together. I want you to hold it up to the screen, to your computer or your cell phone, whatever it is you're watching. And I want you to feel the energy from my hands. And I want you to energetically send the energy back. And imagine that right now we are actually aligned in a circle, sending the energy all around. And this circle is global. It goes from here to where everyone is all around the world. And within this portal and this circle, we are now raising the frequency of each and every one of us, asking for healing and asking for healing and harmony for our beloved planet. Asking that those we love be placed in the center right now. Know that those that we have challenges and difficulties with, we are allowed to also place them in the center for healing and harmonizing. And we just give such thanks and such gratitude. Guys, I'm so grateful for all of you who listened, who joined me, who comment. You have no idea how you make my heart sing. So do reach out to me. Do give me feedback. Do buy the art. I have to tell you that it is time for the art to leave. I, I've been told I can't really paint until I really figure this part out. All right, I love all of you, and I don't even wanna say bye, so let's rephrase that. I love you all tonight when you go to bed, all right? Know that many of you are being taken to the teaching universities where they teach you higher information, sacred geometry and information. Go and ask to join us. Say, I bet Dr. Joan of Angels is up there and I want to be in her class tonight. And so gather with all of us and we'll have a grand old time tonight. And then if you remember it, write me. Love, love, love. Thank you for sharing this with me. Share me with your friends. I said, like my page and even put a good review because, you know, people look at those things. So anything else? Yes. I love you. Lisa, Lisa has a piece of the art, and I want you to talk to the art, please, girl. Please put some candles in it tonight. I'm in front of, not in it, and I love you, and blessings. Millie, there you are, sweet Millie. Have a beautiful night. I'm going to post this for rebroadcasting, and see you all tonight on the other side. Love, love.